In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an old film effect in After Effects that will give your videos an old school vintage look. Hey everyone, my name is Cameron with Motion Science. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an old film effect in After Effects. This is a really simple process and it's a great way to give your videos that vintage look. So this process will work with any footage and what I have here is an old school film projector. The first thing I wanna do is give it that old school vintage shake up and down. So I'm gonna select P for position, right click, separate dimensions, and on the Y position, I'm gonna control or alt click to add an expression and I'm gonna type in wiggle parentheses 24. So 24 times per second, I want the Y position to fluctuate by six pixels. I'm gonna click enter on my keyboard and you can see we've already got this really interesting vertical shake happening. Next thing we're gonna do is add a new adjustment layer and we're gonna call this effects. To this adjustment layer, I'm going to go to effect, color correction, curves, and I'm going to add one, two, three points. I'm gonna bring up my shadows. I'm gonna bring down my highlights. So you have a curve it looks something like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. Next, we're gonna add effect, color correction, hue and saturation. And I'm gonna drop my saturation by about 25. Next, I'm gonna add an effect, blur and sharpen, camera lens blur. And I'm gonna alter option click on blur radius. And I'm gonna type in wiggle, parentheses, six comma 10. So six times per second, I have a frequency of 10. I want to add in some blur like we see here. Next thing I'm gonna do is add an effect color correction exposure. And I am going to change this from master to individual channels, go to the blue channel, blue exposure, alter option, click, add another expression, wiggle parentheses, 24 times per second at a value of 0.5. I want the exposure to adjust. You can see here the look is really starting to come together. Next effect we're going to add is under effect stylize CC vignette and we're going to create a pretty high amount of vignetting 200. We're going to alter option click there wiggle parentheses 6 comma 100 so six times per second at a value of 100 we are going to create a vignette that pushes in and out on our subject matter. We're getting closer. Next, I'm going to bring in some grain from the film textures pack from Motion Science. You can also add your own grain in the effects within After Effects. I'm gonna use this grain from the texture pack, drop the scale down to 50% since it is a 4K file, set the transfer mode to screen, and now we've got some really nice grain over the top, as you can see there, looking awesome. Next, I'm gonna add another new adjustment layer and we'll call this time. And to the time layer, we're gonna to go to effect, time, posterize time. And we're gonna change the frame rate from 24 down to 18. And by adding the posterized time effect, we're bringing the frames per second down to that old school vintage film frame rate. At this point, you could call it good or you can take it even one step further by adding two more layers to this composition. To do that, I'm going to use a film burn from the Motion Science Film Textures Pack. I'm gonna drop that in below the effects here and I'm going to set this to screen mode and just kind of take a look. You can see what it looks like here if I go ahead and solo this layer. Just a really subtle film burn gives a little bit of extra color to our composition as we can see there. And I'm also gonna add some film textures dirt from the Motion Science Texture Pack. We're gonna go with Dirt 4, drop this below here, scale it down to about 75%. Again, these are 4K files. Set this to screen. And if I solo this, you can see here is the dirt texture. I wanna go ahead and bring down the color of this. I'm gonna go to Color Correction, Hue and Saturation, and I'm gonna drop this down to about negative 50, so it's a little less color in there. We're gonna go ahead and unsolo this and check it out. And there we go, there is our old school vintage film look. I hope that you've really enjoyed this lesson on creating an old school vintage film look. 
Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'd love to answer them for you. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to this channel. It helps other people find this channel as well. If you're looking to upgrade your design skill set, master the art of style, and execute like a pro, I have a course called Stylecraft that you can check out at motionscience.tv. You can also learn more about this course by clicking the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'm Cameron, and this is Motion Science.